Welcome to the Grow Your Business for Good show. This is a place where coaches and consultants gather so you can learn how to lead a world-class business that does not tax your time, your energy, or your financial resources. We are your hosts, M. Shannon Hernandez. And Amy Hager of the Joyful Business Revolution. And our number one goal is to bring you clarity and insight on how to grow your business for good. Hey y'all, it's Shannon and Amy. And if you missed the hot news, this season <laughs> we are answering questions from our community. We are answering their most pressing marketing questions. So this question was submitted by Emily and our financial Emily is a financial coach and it was submitted in our Facebook group. And <laughs> Amy has not prepared a response because she has not seen the question. So Amy, are you ready? I am. I love Emily. And so I'm super curious what she asked. All right. Now, Amy, please remember the rule. You're going to set your timer for 10 yep. minutes and we're trying to get to all the good people's questions in 10 minutes or less. Are you up for the challenge? I got it ready. All right. So here's Emily's question. What are practical ways to nurture prospects to become clients? Uh, all right, here we go. Boop. Um, Emily, this is such a beautiful question. And because at the Joyful Business Revolution, we are all about relationship building, I actually love that you're asking me this question. And so what I would say to you, Emily, is what have I been doing to you? You've been in our community for a year now, and you haven't enrolled. You've come to a ton of our free events, and we've spoke one-on-one -on -one together. And so I would want to flip this on to Emily and say, Emily, look back and see what I've done to you to nurture you. And for those of you who aren't Emily and can't see in her inbox or know the conversations that we had, I'll kind of walk you through the process. But what I will say is a lot of times we, we're just, we just need that one more client, right? Like, let's be real. It is, it pulls at your heart. It creates anxiety and it sometimes drives you crazy, maybe to tears. It drives Shannon, it drives Shannon to tears. And what I want you to remember is when that person is ready to buy, I don't want any other option coming up in their head besides you. So Emily, when you are ready to buy, I want no other option than us to be coming in your head because I've loved on you so much. We've loved on you so much since you entered into our community. And it is, it's a lot of personal touch bases. Yo, of course, Emily's on our email list. She's getting our weekly newsletter. She knows when our events are happening. She's invited to come to our events. I always follow up with her though. After every single time I see her, and sometimes even when I don't see her, but I think of her, I'll reach out and see how things are going. I know she launched a new program and I caught her on the day that she had just started the marketing for it. And the last update I got from her this last week was she had enrolled two people and she had also invited a current one-to-one -one client as a bonus into this thing and that she still isn't ready to join us. And so I asked her some hard questions, not going to lie. It's not all rainbows and unicorns. I did ask her some hard questions because Emily spent two hours in with us this week, two separate sessions. And the progress that we see her make and every single time we interact with her is amazing. But she keeps delaying enro enrolling with us. And I'm curious to see what her answer is on this. And my question to her is, could you imagine how quickly you would advance if you had mine and Shannon's attention for an hour every week for three weeks, every month in our content personality club. Imagine how much further you're going to be in June or July instead of waiting until June or July to start this work. And so the key to really nurturing prospects is to keep track of them, to keep loving on them and to keep showing up in service. Mm -hmm. And I think Emily's, what Emily's word was, what are practical ways to nurture prospects and to become clients? In my mind, 
one-on-one -on -one in relationship building is practical. Other coaches are going to be out there telling you, no, you need to spray and pray. You need to get in front of all the people in the world. Yeah, you probably do need to get in front of more people to attract more people into your inner circle audience. But once they've reached out to you to show that they are interested in working with you, love on them. So when they are ready, you are the only yes they, they make. Let's pause for a quick commercial. Have you heard of our content personality club? This is the place where coaches and consultants come to learn how to grow their aligned audience and deepen community relationships. We work with you each month on key parts of your messaging, combining that messaging with your unique content personality. Our goal is that you will never hear the chirp, chirp of crickets again when it's time for you to roll out a new offer or reintroduce an offer in a new way. Our students are having success because we're creating messaging and conversation and collaboration in this community with Shannon and me as your messaging mentors. So take a look at the contentpersonalityclub.com and grab your spot. I'll reach out as soon as I see you've enrolled. Now, back to the show. And so Shannon, I know you probably have a little bit more to add that I've kind of forgotten. So what, what did I leave out in some of the ways that we nurture our prospects? How much time do I have? Five minutes and 50 seconds. Wow. You ask me this every time. Yes, I do. Because I want to follow the rule. All right. Um, we teach all of our clients in the Confident Expert Program how to love their leads. Yeah. And we have a process for this and it starts with, well, I'm not going to give it away, but here's what I'm going to tell you all. We know every single person who has come to anything over the last, however many years we've been doing this, we know what they said, what they um, did, what they, when they told us they'd be ready. Um, we have a plan in place to love our leads. And how we love our leads is dependent upon kind of the love that they're giving back to us. I mean, if I'm going to be honest, right? Because Amy, would you agree? You're going to get to a point where you just got to kind of throw your hands up, let Emily come around when she's ready, because we got hundreds of other people we're loving up on too. Exactly. And so this last email that I sent to her, it was a really hard question that I asked. I'm waiting for her response and I'm curious. And I know if now isn't the right time, then, you know, I'll see her again when she registers for another thing, but I'm not going to sit there and harass her and bug her unless there is something that like makes me think of her and I want to reach out to her because I genuinely want to reach out to people, right? I do that all the time, but there is a time where you've got to leave the ball in their court and know that you've done everything that you can do to love up on this person. And again, when it is time for yes, they'll come to you. Yeah. And um, you have to be really good at not having your feelings hurt. Yeah, that is really key. And this is why I don't do sales anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, can we talk about that for a minute? That's real, right? Right. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, could be like, really mad at Emily because I know the potential. I know what is possible for her. If I was in sales, like I would have been like, forget it. But this is why I don't do sales. This is why Amy does sales. <laughs> oh, and I think too, like that is the one thing that I, you know, I'm not in anybody else's shoes. I'm not in anybody else's situation. And I know I can't see the full, everything that's going through that person's head. I have a good idea of what's going through because again, I've built really good relationships with people, but I don't know everything. And so I, again, I know I've showed up and loved on this person absolutely as much as I can. And that's what I need for me to be okay to receive a no. Yeah. And that's really important. <clears throat> the love, the care, the concern, the knowing, like we only know what people tell us, right? I mean, seriously. Um, so you got to keep, keep showing up. You got to keep loving on your leads. You got to keep being the invitation. You got to keep a good spirit and it's hard. And there's a fine line between that and feeling 
desperate Mm -hmm. and harassing people. Yeah. Honestly. So true. So So true. Emily, thanks so much for submitting your question. We hope it helped everyone. How much time we got left? Two minutes left. We're doing good, Shannon. That's it. We'll be back, y'all. That's a wrap. We'll be back with another episode with one of your questions. Adios. Bye. Thank you for listening to the Grow Your Business for Good podcast with your hosts, M. Shannon Hernandez and Amy Hager. Head over to www.joyfulbusinessrevolution.com slash quiz to take the content personality quiz and join our community. And remember our mantra, if it ain't joyful, we ain't doing that shit. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the show, leave a review and spread the good news with other coaches and consultants.